hi guys welcome back to another video of easy tutorials youtube channel today in this video we are going to create navigation bar or menu bar using html and css in this navigation bar you can see i have added beautiful animation for the hover effect you can see some animation whenever i take cursor over any menu item we will create this animated navigation bar using html and css only so let's start this video here in this folder i have added one index.html file one style.css file let me open these files with my code editor which is visual studio code so this is the html file where i have added the basic html structures and this one is the css file where i have added margin padding box sizing and font family these css properties will be applicable for all the html elements in this html file i have added this link tag that will connect the html and css file because here i have added href style.css now we will add code in the body tag that will be displayed on our web page so here we will add one div with the class name container now we will add the css for this container so just add this class name in this css file and here for this container we will add the background after background we will add the width and height then we will add display display will be flex align items center and justify content center so that all the contents inside this container will be in this center after adding this let's come back to the folder and open this html file with any web browser now you can see this color on the complete web page let me close this browser and i will open the browser with the visual studio code extension called live server so that it will refresh the web page automatically whenever we will add any changes and save the code file so you can see the same web page again let me come back and here within this container we have to create the navigation bar so here we will add one nav tag in this nav we will add the list so here we will add ul and li in this li we will add the text let me duplicate it and change the text After updating the text, let's refresh the website again. And now you can see these list in the center of the web page, but right now it is vertically aligned. We have to align it horizontally and we will change the color and font. So let's come back and here we will add nav tag in this CSS file. For this nav, we will add the background. So the background will be white, which is triple F. And after that border radius, then we will add some padding there will be some space inside this navbar let's add the box shadow also after adding this let's come to the web page again and now you can see here we have the white background and some shadow now we will align all the contents horizontally so let's come back and here we will add nav and in this nav we have added ul and li so for this list we will add list style none then display will be inline block after adding this you can see it is horizontally aligned next we will add some spacing and we will change the font size and font weight so let's come back and here we will add some space we will add padding then we will add margin after that we will add font size font size will be 18 pixel and font weight let's change the color also cursor will be pointer after adding this you can see it looks good Next we have to add a colored layer for all the list item. So let's come back and here we will add this one. Then write after. In this one we will add content. It will be empty. Let's add background. Then we will add the width. Width will be 100% and height also 100%. Then we will add border radius. It will be 30 pixel. Then position, it will be absolute. 
and here we are adding position absolute so in this one we will add the position relative and after position absolute we will add the top top will be 50 percent then left also 50 percent then we will add transform translate minus 50 percent and minus 50 percent after that you can see this colored layer over all the menu text but it is hiding the menu text so we have to change the z index so let's come back and in this one we have added ulli in this one we will add z index to and in this after we will add z index minus one like this again refresh the website this colored layer is just behind the menu text after adding this we have to change its position so let's come back and here we have added 50 percent so we will make it 100 percent so it is little bit down from the menu text and this colored layer will move up whenever we will take cursor so right now it is visible so we have to hide this one to hide this colored layer we will come back and here in this one we will add the opacity zero so it will be hidden and whenever we will make the opacity one it will be again visible so here we will copy this one then right hover and whenever we will take cursor it will change the color it will be white like this and in this one we have to add transition color 0.5 seconds so it will change the color let's see if I take cursor the menu text becomes white and the background is also white that's why it is not visible so let's come back and now we have to display this colored layer which is hidden right now because we have added opacity 0 so we have to increase the opacity and we have to change the position also so let's copy this and here we will add after in this one we will add top 50 percent then we will add opacity 1 so it will be visible and the top position will be 50 percent earlier it was 100 percent so let's see if i take cursor it is immediately visible because we have not added any transition so let's come back and here in this one we will add transition top 0.5 seconds and opacity 0.5 seconds now if i take cursor you can see this colored layer is moving very smoothly so finally we have created this animated navigation bar design using html and css i hope this video will be helpful for you if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section please like and share this video and also subscribe my channel easy tutorials to watch more videos like this one thank you so much for watching this video